Hello, this is a review video of some of the major themes in biology. Biology, of course, is the study of life. Most biology textbooks, their first chapter goes over uh, a little bit of everything, the core themes of biology. And of course, what is life? It's easier to de describe life than it is to define it. And here we have uh, a list of the properties of life, the characteristics of living things. Living things are highly ordered, they're complex. Living things reproduce, living things grow and develop. Living things take in and utilize energy. Living things respond to their environment. Living things have homeostasis. That's just a fancy word for internal balance and effort to keep a constant internal environment, such as body temperature. Uh, every living thing tries to maintain at least some constancy of the internal environment. Evolutionary adaptation is something that is exhibited, that is, organisms exhibit adaptations that have evolved via natural selection. So these are properties of life. Now another theme, of course, are the levels of organization that exist in biology. Now, of course, there's the molecular level of biology, which includes atoms and molecules and, and so forth. There's the cellular level. The cell is the basic unit of life. All living things are made of cells. Uh, but in multicellular organisms, cells are arranged into tissues. Now, a tissue is a group of similar cells. An organ, of course, is a group of tissues bundled together and achieves specific functions. An organ system, of course, is a group of organs that are coordinated to achieve a vital body function. Put everything together, you have the individual living thing, which is the organism. But in nature, organisms hang out with others of their own kind, and we call that level the population. Populations have to interact with each other, predator-prey relationships and so forth, so all of the populations in an area, all of the living things in an area, in an area are, is known as the community. Now, the community, of course, has to interact with its non-living environment, and that level is the ecosystem, and you put everything together and you have the biosphere, the entire uh, area of planet Earth where life exists, or the sum total of all Earth's ecosystems. Other major themes in biology include the diversity of life and the unity of life. Now, of course, if I were to ask you how many species exist, the answer doesn't really depend on who you ask, but when you've asked the question. To date, uh, uh, just under two million species are known. Uh, and of course, they're classified accordingly to these various levels. The highest taxonomic level, of course, is domain, major groups being subdivided into kingdoms, then phyla, class, order, family, genus, and species, which is a specific kind. Now, if I were again to ask how many major fundamental groups of life are there, if you were to take every living thing, how many of those groups do we have? Well, by all available information, there are three major groups of life known as the domains, or three domains of life. They are the bacteria, the archaea, and the eukarya. Now, it just so happens that two of the three domains are of prokaryotes, cells without a nucleus, and the eukaryotes all belong to their own domain, having a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. But despite the incredible diversity of life, there's also a unity of life. Uh, the properties that I've just described earlier in this video. Uh, all living things have uh, a genetic code that uses DNA, and this genetic code is expressed in virtually the same way in every living thing. Uh, living things use ATP as the energy molecule, adenosine triphosphate, and there are various metabolic pathways that are common to every living thing as well. So this is sort of a brief overview of some major themes in biology.